Eating on a cruise ship can be overly gluttonous, caloric, but it doesn't have to be. Not to mention even trying to manage a dietary restriction or allergy. In a recent poll, the majority of people voted that they like to look up the menus at a restaurant before they go there and eat. And I guess I really shouldn't be too surprised that this is such a common occurrence as I share what I eat when I'm cruising from the menus and pictures and in my cruise vlogs. Well, in today's video, we're going to outline some of the latest technology that allows you to indulge in some of Carnival Cruise Line's food throughout their entire ship. Hello friends, it's Alana from Travel the World A to Z. If you're new here, welcome and be sure to subscribe as I love to share all types of travel and cruise content with you. People make all kinds of assumptions when it comes to cruising and cruise food, and there isn't a real line in the sand from stopping of what people think of what cruise food is really like. So today we're gonna set the record straight with the latest technology that allows you to adhere and stay tracked to any food allergies like shellfish or dietary restrictions and limitations like gluten intolerance, soy, dairy, and more. We'll answer some questions and we'll find out whether or not you will go hungry if you can't eat everything in plain sight and you're trying to follow some certain restrictions. We'll answer that and maybe a couple myths surrounding cruise food as well. We'll find out that it's pretty helpful to know what you can and you can't eat in a venue throughout a ship, like the Steakhouse or Rudy's Sea Grill or any other venue, even like the Lido, the Seafood Shack or Street Eats. We'll be able to better manage some options. First myth here is that there are no healthy options on a cruise. We're going to bust that myth as most menus offer plant-based options and they're clearly marked with V's for vegetarian and also vegan options. So you can just simply look for some non-fried options, but we're gonna take that even a step further and do a deep dive. And we're gonna take this deep dive into the dietary and allergen information right into the palm of your hand. You will be able to find this new technology throughout the ship and either two different podiums on the Lido where you'll find the tablet and be able to also find it in the main dining room. So don't worry if you're not technology savvy, there's a hostess at both locations that can help you guide you through the app. So let's put this new technology to work, shall we? First up is a barbecue favorite pig and anchor. Right at the beginning of exploring any new restaurant on a ship, you're given the option allergens or intolerances that you might have. So for this restaurant, we played the scenario that we have a gluten and shellfish intolerance. Let's see what we can eat, shall we? Now the search results populate showing that all the items that would be unsafe to eat, all the burgers and pulled pork sandwiches are served with bread. That is why these menu items are coming up in the color red. Now, if we run this search again and take out the gluten restriction, we can see all the options that are safe to eat and that are going to show up in the color green, telling us it is safe to eat. One thing I found incredibly fun to see was your ability to modify a menu item. Perhaps you are allergic to tomatoes, but many items have them as toppings, which make it not part of the compound ingredients in a menu item, so you can request it to be taken off. And in this scenario, that menu item would show up the color orange, so you know that you would have to request it with it off. And just to clarify, you aren't ordering through this app, you're just looking at the menu items. Next up, let's put this into action here. Let's try it in a new restaurant. We're gonna see the menu for bonsai sushi. Perhaps this time we wanna have an egg and soy allergy, and this is where we can see the orange, meaning that you are allowed to eat it, but with a modification. And for example, the chocolate bento box has eggs in the pistachio cake. So if you remove that egg, then it becomes edible for you. So whether you are dining in the main dining room, any night throughout your cruise, you can see day one's menu all the way through the end of the year voyage. And specifically for the Mardi Gras, you'd be in the Flamingo dining room or the Palm dining room. And those menus change daily, no matter which ship you're on. So our next restriction that we will try is a dairy allergy. So if you're curious why the baby spinach salad is coming up orange, it's meaning allergy friendly, but a modification. And we can click through and it tells you exactly what it is flagging for you that's unsafe. 
Let's try this scenario one more time. Let's see a fish allergy at a steakhouse. Now, like you would expect, there isn't many fish options in a steakhouse, so lots of the menu is coming up green, which means it's safe for you to enjoy. The classic Caesar salad codes orange because of the anchovies in the salad. And the dressing is actually mixed with the anchovies. So what I find fascinating is it's exploring and showing you the compound cooking, giving you all the details because the dressing is mixed in with it. And if all of these Drexy names are a bit too technical and you're not sure, you can actually click through again here and it tells you what to avoid within the plate. I found this really cool. Menu Made is brand new and it's so helpful to sort through over 350,000 different food menu products determining what you can indulge in and release that inner foodie within you to make sure you enjoy every meal on your cruise because you're on vacation. So with a little planning ahead for your cruise, you can see where you want to eat and eliminate any of the guesswork so you really can't go hungry on a ship. So currently this feature is only available on the tablet throughout the ship, but this feature will likely become available on the Carnival Hub app in the near future. Drop me a comment down below which allergy or restriction you have to keep in mind of when you are on a cruise, whether it's shellfish, dairy, gluten, and what you have to keep mindful of when you are on your cruise with all of the food options. Do you think that this new feature will help you explore all of the dining venues? For instance, the Carnival Mardi Gras has 27 different dining options for you to choose from which is a lot. I think this new feature will help make exploring and navigating dietary restrictions much easier. So eating on a cruise ship doesn't have to be too overly complicated when you are looking at all of the ingredients. It's making your lives easier for you. I think MenuMate is pretty darn cool. I hope you guys enjoyed checking it out and seeing this brand new feature that is going to be rolled out as all the ships come back online. You will see this on board. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, ciao for now.